May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and while it's important to fight the stigma and recognize the need for mental health services, it's also important to recognize the struggle to find resources and help. So our three news contributor Chris Webb introduces us to one Cleveland man's working to help to bring help to his community. I started Ghetto Therapy because I knew exactly what was needed inside of my projects. I've seen so much going on, so much trauma, so many bodies. Could no longer get drunk, no longer smoke weed. That was not numb in the pain, right? Therapy is a resource that many people from vulnerable populations struggle to gain access to. But one central resident is out to change that. Walter Patton's resource, Ghetto Therapy, is addressing the ills faced in urban communities by connecting residents with licensed therapists for weekly, multi-tiered community group therapy sessions. I still live in Central Community, where the average resident makes under $10,000 a year. We're considered the poorest community in Cleveland, Ohio. We need to be heard. We got to start addressing those generations of trauma. You got these young guys who grandfather was in the streets, father in the streets, and that's what you see. You see generations of trauma spilling out into the streets, and that's why our cities is bad all over America. All urban communities have the same problem. And Walter goes on to explain that that problem is a powder keg of systemic issues that leave personal scars. And many times, therapy isn't seen as a viable option. In the black community, they say that black people don't go to therapy, but that's not true. We just don't know a lot of these resources exist. Even in 2018, I was already doing ghetto therapy, but I wanted to make it more, more relevant. I wanted to push it even more because I seen we didn't have a space to grieve. We tend to go to the drugs to, to heal, to cope with it. But Walter notes that healthy coping options for areas that need it most are sometimes few and far between. It's never been a time when therapists came to the ghetto. There's never been a time where they came and knocked on your door and said, come to therapy. There's 50, 75, 100 people here. There's never been a time. We always outsourced to the suburbs. We always outsourced to downtown. But now with ghetto therapy, they come into the hood. By connecting licensed therapists to the community, Walter has created an organic movement that grows with each new week. I'm creating a revolution to where I want the grant organizations to come and see the people on the ground. In the room next door, it's about 75 to 80 people. Last week at Teens Night, my first partnership with Cleveland Clinic Links and Hughes facility, we had 101 residents show up for a therapy session. And Walter already knows the positive impact that this movement could potentially have. You'll see more Justin Bibbs. You'll see more young black men and young black women engaging in politics more people that's engaging in community if we continue to heal. I want to be able to show generations after me that the residents can lead initiatives like this. Like I said, I'm still a resident, so I want to show the residents that we can do it. Ghetto Therapy now offers a teen night in partnership with the Cleveland Clinic. It's held every second Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Cleveland Clinic's Langston Hughes facility. We have more information for you on WKYC.com.